Good evening, my name is Carol Mosley. I live at 10121 Southwest 104 Avenue in Graham. First, first I'd like to um, make a retraction. I wrongly said at a meeting that the experimental phosphate uh, testing was being done by JDC phosphate, but it turns out that it was actually being done by Jay and Julian Hazen at a business called Metro Supply. Uh, they are not in the business of phosphate mining. They sell industrial equipment. And in addition to the experimental reclamation process, it seems they plan on using an experimental transport system called Rail Vector. Um, in my defense, I did ask Mr. Sexton if we had any information about the test, where it was taking place, who was conducting it. He said there was no additional information beyond what had been submitted in the application. So we were left on our own to try to figure it out. So that's my retraction. Now to my uh, statement. After promising not to rush to pull permits and submit an application, then shamefully doing exactly that, even though they have admitted the application was not complete, HPS2 is now suing North, North, North Central Florida Regional Planning Council. And they are putting pressure on you to force your hand after depriving you of time for research and of open dialogue with your constituents. You should feel no obligation to grant an incomplete application submitted after a broken promise. You should certainly feel no pressure to accept an incomplete application until such time as the questions posed by the DEP have been responded to at the very least. And as of last Friday, they have not yet been responded to. But you were not the only ones deceived and deprived. We were too. And not only by HDS, but also by you. First, we were, we were deprived of notification of the emergency agenda addition. Though Hazen and Chamores were notified, the public was not so privileged. We were deprived of giving input on the important decision of a moratorium. Then we were deprived of a moratorium that would give us time to update our LDRs. We were, we were promised our questions would be answered at a workshop that we were also deprived of, and we were deprived by you on April 21st when you failed to tell us, though you knew that HBS had submitted an application causing a quasi-judicial condition that very day. That would be an incomplete application. No complete application has been submitted to you thus far. Um, on April 21st, each of you admitted one by one that you knew before the meeting about the application being submitted. Except the tape is not audible, and Commissioner Thompson, we're not sure whether you said yes or no. We would like to know if that was a yes. If not, you're the only one who said no. Based solely on the disclosures just stated, you should immediately deny the, applicant, the incomplete application submitted and immediately vote to begin the process of enacting a one-year moratorium while we update the LDRs. Let HBS answer the DEP and submit a real application before you allow them to constrict your movement any longer. Do not allow them one more minute to put a wedge between you and your constituents. Enough is enough. Stand up to, in the face of this bullying. If you do, we will have your back. I would just like to request, please, that Marlene, uh, that the minutes for that um, March meeting, May meeting, May 2nd meeting, be uh, amended to include the admissions by each of you that you had known of the submission of the application. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Olson. April 21st was the date of the meeting, but on May 2nd was the date of the admissions. Thank you. What, what year are you referring to? 2016. Thanks. Next we have Katie Ellison. 